Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a DIY gel electrophoresis machine using materials you can find easily around your house or at most grocery stores. For this reaction, you're going to need a few things. First is agar powder. I got mine at TNT. Next is baking soda, M&Ms or Skittles, wire, 9 volt batteries, I'm using 3, a plastic dish to run the reaction in, alligator clips with wire, pliers, a hair comb, and some water. First up, we're going to start by making our agar gel. To do this, we're going to use a microwave safe container. This can be anything as agar is food safe and the container can be used. We're going to need half a gram of baking soda, 2 grams of agar powder, and 100 milliliters of distilled water. We're going to start by mixing our water and our baking soda together in the dish. You can do this to swirl the mix, or if you're like me and want to use a spoon, that's cool too. Next, we're going to add our agar powder and mix until it's dissolved. Then, we're going to put our, our mixture in the microwave and microwave it until clear. I did 2 minutes with 10 second intervals. Now that our mixture is done and hot, we're going to add it to our dish and position our hair comb to create the wells. You want to leave a little bit of gap between the comb and the end of the well. While our gel is setting, we're going to start by making our electrodes. To do this, we're going to cut a section of wire and crimp it so it looks like kind of the bottom half of a square and that it fits in the end of our plastic dish. We're going to need two of these, one for each end of the dish for the positive and the negative electrodes. Now, my gel is done. It's been set on the counter for about two hours, and I remove the hair comb to create the wells, as you can see. Now, we're going to need to cut off a little bit of the ends of the gel to make room for our electrodes. This doesn't need to be a lot, just enough for the wire to sit. Again, one on each end, one for the positive end, and one for the negative end. Now we're going to create our dye to put in the wells using M&Ms. This is just M&Ms in a little bit of water left to sit for a few seconds. And then I'm going to transfer it into the wells, just using a straw from an old soap bottle. Now we need to cover our mixture in a solution of water and a little bit of baking soda. Add in our electrodes, one at each end. The end farthest away from the wells is going to be our positive end. And the other is our negative end, which will draw the solution from the wells all the way to the other side. Now we're going to stick our batteries together. I'm using three, but you could use more or less depending on what you have. Now we're going to clip the positive end of our electrode to the positive end of our battery and the negative end of our electrode to the negative end of our battery. This will start the reaction. It's a little slow, mine took about two hours, but you can slowly start to see the gels the, sorry, the dyes moving through the gel from the wells towards the positive end of the reaction dish. This happens because the molecules and the dyes are of different sizes. The smaller molecules are, are smaller and move through the gel easier, allowing the dye to travel farther. Now I've taken out the solution so you can see the gel and how it's moved more clearly. As you can see, different ones move different lengths and you've now finished your gel electrophoresis.